Hey, 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 we back with another one. Welcome to my channel. My name is Wally. Today we're gonna go into some official, official pioneer of this game, man. And his name is Robin Williams. Yeah, this one right here is live at the Met, alcohol and marijuana. Yeah, let's go. Damn. So little sip of Perrier here. I had to stop drinking alcohol because I used to wake up nude and hood in my car with my keys in my ass. <laughs> Good thing. Hi, can I help you? No, thanks. It's just flooded. I'll be okay. <laughs> Beautiful, baby. Beautiful, yeah. Because you're sucked into drinking beer by believing it's a healthy thing. All these beer commercials usually show big men, manly men doing manly things. You've just killed a small animal. It's time for a light beer. <laughs> Why not have a realistic beer commercial? What's the realistic thing about beer? Where you go, it's five o'clock in the morning. You've just pissed on a dumpster. It's Miller time. <laughs> Because you realize the first purpose of alcohol is to make English your second goddamn language. <laughs> Eventually, you may be quite fluent. You may be a Nobel Prize physicist. After my maybe nine, ten Heinekens, you're going. Ah, cara, ra. <laughs> ah, cara, ha. You're speaking fluent drunkenese, bravo. He said drunkenese. Next thing you know, you got a couple more beers. You've got a friend in a headlock going, "I love you, little fucker. I love you." <laughs> the kind of love I have for you, baby, god damn it. Ah, on you work your way beyond beer. You go beyond beer, you start into wine. For the very elegant people, people, a lot of people who are very elegant are in Montauk going, damn it, I wish I could have been there, but no, I'm not. <laughs> Some people who have, you know, I don't know whether they have the red wine with the fish or the chicken. What's the matter, asshole, they're dead. <laughs> the chicken's not gonna reach up from the plate and go, the red wine. <laughs> <laughs> Saying, and I'm not talking about pre fusse or pussy fussy. Uh uh. I'm talking about Mad Dog 2020. Mm. You know, the very elegant wine, the type of wine with a lovely screw top, a bottle of which after you can actually see vapor trails as people pass you. That joint is toxic. How you doing? And you must pay your dues. This is why I had to give up alcohol, because you have to pay the next day. Pay, dear Lord, please don't hurt me now. <laughs> there you are lying in bed, and you feel like the scene from the movie The Fly going, Help me! Help me! The entire room is spinning like a roulette wheel. Place your bets. Place your bets. That's a fact. Every time I ever got drunk like that, and you sit in one spot for too long, the whole room starts spinning no matter what. You trying to hold your balance. I mean, like, it's like vertigo on a, on a thousand. And there's the old toilet in the corner going, talk to me. <laughs> and you try and walk slowly, but you feel like the elephant man in a car wash. <laughs> there's things in front of you like the stuff that scares the water off cars. You can't do it. Even your dog's looking at you like, you wouldn't believe the shit you said to me last night. <laughs> I had to back out of the room. I was that scared. You promised me an evening with Lassie, you lying bastard. <laughs> yes, you have got an alcoholic problem. You do, and the worst part is there are times when you drink so much you don't remember what you've done the night before. And you get those little phone calls where people let you know. <laughs> what? <laughs> really? <laughs> I took a dump in your tuba. <laughs> He said, sit in with the band. I'm sorry. Oh, God, it's over. Oh, don't you see? It's all over. God damn it. And then the next thing you know, there you are at Betty Ford Hospital going, I'm fine now. <laughs> I'm a reformed alcoholic. <laughs> I feel so much better about myself. <laughs> I'm fine. No, you have that double vodka. I'll be over in the corner kicking the cat. <laughs> I realized when I became a reformed alcoholic, I said, hey, I'm the same asshole, I just have fewer dents in my car. <laughs> and then there are your friends who smoke marijuana going, John, man, alcohol's a crutch. <laughs> really? Really, Captain Herbal Life? <laughs> really? God, you just macrameed your ass into the couch and you're giving me shit? <laughs> Remember when you get so stoned you can actually see a fly in space going, mm. <laughs> and when you get so 
when your discretion goes out the window. You could be eating kitty litter going, mm, this is crunchy, man. <laughs> Nah, man, we didn't make you do that. And the horrible thing is people who get stoned try and get their animals stoned to make them feel better. <laughs> it's not bad enough that you proved that Darwin was wrong. You're going to take the whole family with you. <laughs> Here's your dog going, please don't do this to me. I've just learned to lick my own genitals. Leave me alone. Don't do this to me. And your dog, you're going to go, hey, Farfel. <laughs> dog food. Whoa, my tail, my tail. back down the food chain don't do that and don't mess with your cat because he's looking at you like give it your best shot man <laughs> i've been doing catnip since the day i was goddamn born <laughs> come on you blow it in his face he's like, all of a sudden he's ram kitty <laughs> he looks at you like the first thing i'm gonna do man is climb you like a goddamn curtain <laughs> oh, wow. double dismount <laughs> 15 times around the house real quick. <laughs> Scare the shit out of the kid. <laughs> then outside by the window making this noise. <laughs> like a baby in a blender. <laughs> and you're inside stone going, oh God, help me now. <laughs> and the next thing is you start to get hungry. You think you can leave the house, you liar. <laughs> you think, I'm gonna be fine, man. I gotta, I gotta leave the house, I'm gonna be okay. If you could just find your goddamn feet, yeah, you'll be okay. <laughs> then you think you can drive. You think, yeah, I'll be okay. I'll drive, I'll drive, I'll be okay. And you have one of those new Japanese cars where you open the door and it goes, your door is open. <laughs> and if you're stoned, you're going, I knew that. <laughs> so you get in the car, you think, yes, I'm now, I've got it. I'm, uh, the keys, okay, fine, the keys, fine. <laughs> Okay, reverse. Fine. Okay. <laughs> then you're going down the freeway. You think you're traveling at light speed. You think Scotty's sitting next to you going, Jim, you can't push it any faster. <laughs> it's just a Chevrolet, Jim. Don't blame it over the edge. <laughs> Your hair is blowing in the wind, and the window isn't even open. <laughs> you're that stone. You turn on the radio. What is he look? What is he look? You understand everything. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly on the radio, man stoned on freeway. How do they know? How do they know? God damn it. I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Suddenly in the rear view mirror, red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. How patriotic. Yeah. Shut the police. Eat everything in the ashtray. Eat everything in the ashtray. <laughs> oh, God. I'll pull it over. Pull it over. All of a sudden, you start rehearsing. What seems to be the problem, officer? What seems to be the problem, officer? What seems to be the problem? I'm fine. I'm fine. What seems to be the problem? Nice day, officer. What seems to be the problem? Usually, you're stopped by a motorcycle cop. He gets off his bike like, God, am I incredibly well endowed. <laughs> you see the difference between the comedians from back then to today? Yeah, they used to get in character mode for real, for real. I'll get your door. <laughs> there you go. Hey. From inside your car comes this Colombian sauna like, <laughs> suddenly he's going, I'm hungry, I don't know why. <laughs> You're looking at him, you've rehearsed your line, what seems to be the problem, what seems to be the problem. You look at him and go, <laughs> 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 And as you look at him, his face turns into a cheeseburger. You lunge! <laughs> Next thing you know, you end up in a cell, go, <laughs> please don't hurt me. <laughs> but the truth is, you wake up and you're still on the couch at home. <laughs> you've never left! <laughs> you're now that's stone. He was super duper stone. All right, now remember, if you like what you saw, hit that like for me. And if you want, subscribe so you can see some more of these videos, all right? Later.